Hi everybody, it's Wanda. I'm going to try a triptych today. I have not done one of these on camera, so we will see how this goes. And I have some really weird colors here, so I don't know how that'll turn out. But what I have done is I have stolen the idea from Sherry at Sherry's Life of using something to hold it to the canvas. So I used a yardstick. These are three 10 by 20s. And I stapled the yardstick to it. I have no idea if, they'll, if it'll hold for very long, but I'm gonna try it. I have white that is pretty thin, magenta, silver, black, and what I have mixed up that I call black cherry, but I honestly think it looks more like a red oxide. It almost looks like a brown, but hopefully with the magenta mixed in with it and the black as contrast, it'll come through as more red. And I think I'm going to, ooh, I don't really want to put down white and then put the colors on top of that. So I think what I'm going to do is pour my colors kind of down the middle of it and then put the white around it and then maybe use the blow dryer. We're going to see how this goes. So um, these are all mixed one part paint, two parts Floetrol with water to thin. And some of these have been mixed for a while and this one, I just mixed, but I really had to use quite a bit of water in the magenta. Um, but that paint is from Louisiana and it comes out of the jug kind of like Artist Loft White. You know how Artist Loft White is kind of thick? That's how this comes out. So um, we're going to see what happens here. I think I'm going to go in with, some, with the black cherry first. I certainly hope I don't have a bunch of clumps. And then I'm going to put that magenta right next to that. A little bit of black next to that. Some silver. Maybe go back with the black. This still seems a little thick. Some magenta. Some more black cherry that's in my mayonnaise, empty mayonnaise jar. I'm just layering these. I'm not really doing them like a dirty cup. Um, don't think that's enough. So, um, hmm, where do I want to go from here? Some black next to that black cherry. Some silver next to that black. Magenta. And some more black cherry. I'm gonna top it off with that, I think. Oh, that really seems thick. Blow dryer might not even blow this. We just have to wait and see. Do you ever get frustrated? Turn, you have one or two that turn out really good and then you have such a flub and then you have another good one, and then you have two more flubs in a row, and it's like, oh my goodness. Sometimes I get so frustrated. I'm sure that if you pour, you can definitely identify with that. This is my dog crate. I got this. It's a pan that goes in the bottom of a dog crate, and it's really big, and I can put like a 24 by 30 on that. And the good thing about that is then you can actually turn the whole thing, because it turns really easy, instead of picking up the canvas and always turning it. So it makes it really easy, especially if you're on a table. Today I'm in the floor. My legs will be sore tomorrow. But um, in case you want to get one, they're on Amazon and they're really cheap and they really come in handy. So let's see what we get here. A lot of pain in here. Ooh, I hope that doesn't go real ugly. I bet I wish I had not done that. So let's go up here and do this one because the paint has gotten darker. That 
there's going to be an odd man out. I want it to be in the middle. Okay, I hope using white against it is not a big mistake. I was just afraid black would be way too dark if I use black. Lucky I didn't rip that. Alrighty, let's see what happens here. I think I'm gonna tilt it with the tray first. It's really hard to watch three different canvases at one time, people. <sighs> Hope y'all don't mind me calling you people. Guess I had more on this canvas than I did the other two. Oh, me. Now I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm kind of digging this. Oh my goodness. Looks totally different all three, but they all three go together. I actually like the colors together. I don't like that little dab of silver right there. And I got some little red spots right here. So I'm gonna take some white, I hope I have enough left, and just go around and fill in. I think I'll go get my stick to do that. So I'm gonna do that and then make sure I don't have too many bubbles on here. And everything is covered, like this corner right here is completely bare. I have to cover it. But honestly, I kind of like this one. This is very different. I'm thinking it's going to really dry dark, though, with that black in there. So I don't know. I may... Tilt it. Just... A little bit more off that side over there. Oh. I think I'm gonna have to leave it. I think I've gotten actually most of the paint off of there, so. Let me fix it a little bit, and I'll give you a close-up. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all like this one. It's different, and I, I do kind of like this. This is this would look cool hanging on a wall. I think in an office. It would look nice in an office setting. I wish I had a little more silver in this one, because I have a lot in this one and this one. And that silver looked really good up against those colors. So hang on a second. Let me get it done. 
Boy, this one took a lot of fixing. I had a lot of raw edges that were showing and corners and stuff, so I hope I got it all the way around. But here's this one, a lot of silver showing there at the edge. I like how that feathered down. I like how it's sailed up right there. I like the contrast of the silver up against that magenta. And I think the white just really makes it pop. There was a lot of pink or red underneath that and I may have to keep messing with that a little bit, try to get that covered up because I think it looks a little weird, but anyway. So here's the side, how that one ran off. And I think there was some pink right there where I went to fix that when I put the white in there and it caused it to run down that magenta. But this is the middle one. A lot of cell action in it. I really like this one in the center. Apparently I did not have as much paint, but that's probably because I went over each end twice and I didn't in the middle. So, but that's okay. It gives it some contrast. And then this one is really dark, so I hope it doesn't dry too black. But I love how this one came out as much as I do the other one, actually. I think it looks really cool. So that's how it looks from my perspective. And I hope you all enjoyed this. Tell me what you think. If you're new, I invite you to come back, watch me again. I'm going to probably do some big ones in the next few days. I'm only posting about three a week right now because that's all, all the time that I have actually. So hang with me. I invite you to come back, watch again, have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you later. Thank you.